Lincoln liked Pinkerton, and he believed that Pinkerton was an honest man, so he decided to trust him. When Allen presented a decoy plan to get him safely into the Capitol, Lincoln agreed. The very next morning, Allen dispatched his men to cut all telegraph wires out of Philadelphia. Now, no one could alert the conspirators in Baltimore that Lincoln was about to quietly change his travel plans. Pinkerton then used his railroad connections to secretly arrange for an extra sleeping coach to be put on the regular train to Baltimore. Meantime, the presidential train would depart as scheduled, without Lincoln. At 10 o'clock, Lincoln met Pinkerton at the station. He disguised the six foot four inch president and escorted him to the extra sleeping car. The train charged into the night. Pinkerton stood at the door, looking ahead for lights. He had stationed his men at intervals along the tracks. They were to flash lanterns as the train approached so that Allen would know that the tracks were clear. It all worked to a T. Lincoln arrived safely in Washington at 6 a.m. The papers did not go easy on the president-elect for sneaking into the Capitol. But had it not been for Pinkerton, he might not have arrived at all.